Today we are going to start the Manhua known as I'm struck on the same day for a thousand years. The story starts where we get to know that the main character is stuck on the same day for his entire life like an endless loop. The time gets resets at the end of the day and the main character is reincarnated back to the same day. At first the main character felt lucky and he started to spend all his money like crazy as he will get back all his money back the next day. But soon he got bored and started venturing in the field of crime, gambling and things like that as he doesn't have to worry about the consequences as it will be reset the next day. He even gets irritated, so he tries to kill himself to end this loop but fails every time. But, at 7 AM on July 7, 2020, when the main character turns a thousand years old, seems like he was telling his story to a beautiful girl in a nightclub over the bar counter. The girl in response questions him whether he actually made such a story and labels it as an old tactic. The main character assures her and speaks of his skills and also says that he'll wake up tomorrow again in the same loop even if he sleeps with her. The girl is a bit anxious at first as it's her first time meeting such a person and so texts her friend to help her dot the Main character says that her friend is not going to come and says that her ex-boyfriend had come back to her life and so she is going to stay with her. The cute girl says him to stop lying to which he replies to wait for the next 9 minutes and 13 seconds after which she will receive a call. Just then, a rude guy forcefully holds the girl's hand and starts to harass her. The girl tries to let her go of the rude guy's possession but fails so, the main character interferes and asks the rude guy to come over to him. The rude guy questions the main character and quickly throws his cigarette towards the main character but the main character doesn't even flinch or doge the cigarette as it was thrown beside him to just scare him off. The rude guy is a bit shocked that the main character didn't even doge the attack, quickly rushes towards him to land a punch on his face but the main character quickly doges the attack and at the same time make uppercut punch at hit jaw and bully gets thrown away in a single punch. And just then, the main boss arrives angrily stating how dare he touches men and says he'll be a dead man now. The main character asks the bully's boss how did he grow up so fast and questions that whether this is how his elder brother Zhao taught him to be. The bully's boss is completely shocked and asks him how he knows his brother. The main character on the other hand calls the bully boss's elder brother Zhao and tells him that his younger brother was doing some bad stuff in the bar. He even goes on to say that if he doesn't want to start a war in China, then he must do what the main character said in the main meeting. He ends the calls by telling Zhao to keep his people in check else there won't be a second chance as he throws the phone to the bully's boss who then instantly apologizes for his action. The main character being in a good mood says he won't bother them. The beautiful girl is now in utter disbelief and asks herself as to who this person is. Just then the girl receives a call from her friend and her friend apologizes as she cannot come to the bar as her boyfriend came back and she quickly hags up the phone. The beautiful girl is in disbelief as the main character's words come true. The main character then asks the girl to come with him and takes her to the garage pointing to a luxurious car which is not his and he steals the car in front of the girl as he knows that the time will get reset at the end of the day. The girl questions him that he won't leave her home alone to which the man goes into sigma mode saying he's not interested into girls who use a ton of makeup to look pretty. The girl gets angry and brings out a wet wipe and uses it over her face to show the main character that she doesn't use makeup to which she is now rated 9 tenths by the main character. The main character offers her to go to her place as he can prove he is not lying and that the bed in his house is pretty big. The girl gets cautious and says that she will call the police if anything happens to her. The next day the main character wakes up saying that he woke up the same day again and that the girl is gone. Just then the girl enters from the bathroom and says, that how come the say is not repeating to which the main character is completely shocked and the girl now demands an explanation to why is it 8th of July. 